This is non-calculator question number 20 from the March 2019 SAT. If you have not already solved this question, pause the video for a minute, find your solution, and then come back to compare your solution with my solution. College Board gives us a cubic polynomial and says a, b, and c are integer constants. If the zeros of the function are negative 5, positive 6, and positive 7, what is the value of c, the constant in this function? Since we have the zeros, we know h of x is equal to x minus negative 5, x minus 6, x minus 7, and FOIL and then distributing will give us a constant of 5 times negative 6 times negative 7 is 5 times negative 6 is negative 30 times negative 7 is 210. So we would grid in 210. If you know that these are the zeros, but you don't know to multiply those three constants, we can use FOIL. And that gives us h of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 5x minus 30. And then that quantity times x minus 7. So that simplifies to x squared minus x minus 30 times x minus 7. And then distributing x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative x is negative x squared. x times negative 30 is negative 30x. And then negative 7 times x squared is negative 7x squared. Negative 7 times negative x is positive 7x. Negative 7 times negative 30 is positive 210. Adding these, I'll find that my cubic is x cubed minus 8x squared minus 23x plus 210. So the answer is 210. I know I can't grid in a negative, so it has to be the positive 210 that I found. If I ended up with a negative, I would be suspicious that I just flipped a sign. And if I, if I was under time pressure, I would grid in the positive. If I had time, I'd check for my error. College Board often asks you to rewrite a polynomial or write a polynomial in factored form. So this is a skill well worth working on. I'm going to have a collection of videos on this topic later. When I do so, I'll post a link to it in the comments. And come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.